Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This is your brother, Sean Ali, Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. I thank you all for tuning in and giving me some of your time. As always, it is my honor and my privilege to come before you and you to give me your valuable ear and your valuable time. Um, I just want to briefly go into Supreme Health and Fitness from Atoms to Muscles, a manual to abundant life. And for us to understand that when we go to exercise, if we don't, that it is important that we began and develop and create a exercise, an exercise program or routine based on your body, based on your health status. That's, and before any, before um, someone begins a exercise routine or program, they are cautioned to go get examined by your physician. And that is so you can know and get an understanding of your body and to get an understanding of your present health status. That way, when you go to exercise, you will exercise and, and develop and create the routines that will help you. See, listen to me. This is where we fall at. This is in most people that go to exer that begin exercise, it's because they we are overweight. So they go to lose weight because their doctor has said, Hey, you are you in stage one, two, three of obesity. You need to lose weight. You need to exercise. And then they go to, to a gym. And at the gym, you got all of these muscle-bound men and women that's getting you over here on the curls, that's getting you on the squat. To get you on a bench press, get you on pull ups. And that is not how you burn adipose fat tissue. You cannot, you cannot convert adipose fat into muscle. Most people that suffer from obesity, it is the visceral fat around the belly, it's that midsection fat where it's collecting at. You cannot get rid of that by doing curls and bench pressing and squat. No, no, no. Listen to me, fam. Look, this paper will represent one pound. See, one pound of fat weighs the same as one pound of muscle. The difference is this paper represents one pound. So the difference is it would take all of this paper to represent one pound of fat because fat is, it, it covers, it's not a, a dense, it covers a whole area. So one, it would take this whole paper to represent one pound of fat. Now on the reverse side, it would take, It would take four sections of this paper to represent muscle because muscle is denser. So one pound of fat weighs the same as one pound of muscle, but it takes more muscle to fill up the same area that it would take one pound of fat. So if you're if you have fat on your arm, see, and you try you can't convert it. Con shape building muscle will make your arm hurt heavier because that pound of fat
covers a big area. You would take that same area and fill it up with two, three, four, five pounds of muscle. So a muscular person, they look, that does not define health because that's stress on your body just as fat. So if you are going, it takes you must burn 3,500 calories to lose this pound of fat. You must burn. It takes 30, you must lose 3,500 calories to lose one pound of fat. So if you, if we are going to the gym or we are beginning an exercise program and we are trying to lose weight, you cannot lose weight and try to build muscle at the same time because you won't. Because as you are building muscle, the, mus the muscle is denser. So you're filling that area up with where one pound of fat was at, you're replacing it with two, three, four pounds of fat. So when you go to step on a scale, you become frustrated because you're like, man, I'm at the gym and I'm sweating and I'm working and I'm hurting and this guy, this girl is making me drop and throw up, but I'm not losing weight. See? Because when you, you, you are advised, before you begin any exercise program. And you should not be going to a physical fitness instructor without your doctor notes. If, if your physical instructor, if they don't have your doctor's examination notes and they saying, okay, you got uh, um, adipose fat, you suffering from clogged arteries, you got hypertension. See, that's when they take that examination from your health, from your physician, and they create an exercise program for you because they have to go what the doctor said is wrong with you because that's why you're going to exercise is to fix what the doctor said is wrong. So cardio, in aerobics, those that have osteosclerosis or clogged arteries. See, cardio and aerobics, they create that pump in your heart. They create that breathing that makes your heart beat faster. And as it's beating faster, that blood is flowing through your veins and your arteries, and it's pushing, and it's clearing it, and it clears up the clog. It breaks down that cholesterol because it's pumping through your veins and your arteries at a higher rate. Weightlifting doesn't do that. You're sitting still. You're stationary. You become overweight and obese from being stationary. That's static. That's sitting still. That's potential. Life is based on kinetic. So when we go to a gym, a gym, when we seek out exercise advice, we must build that routine on what is wrong with you. You must build it on your body tight. If you are obese, if you are suffering from being obese and overweight, before you do any strength training, before you do any muscle building, you must lose the fat because obesity, that visceral fat, that is the root cause of heart disease, of cancer, of respiratory situations, of having nervous problems. That is the, in the six leading causes of death. Being overweight and obesity is a root cause. So if you don't lose, if you don't first fix that root cause, you will not change yourself. You will not see improvement. You will actually hurt yourself because you are doing physical activities that you don't need to do first. First, you must heal yourself. You must remove that weight. It takes 3,500 calories to lose one pound 
of adipose fat tissue. So we ha I have a book, and this is a manual. This is a manual, a complete manual to abundant life, supreme health and fitness, from atoms to muscles. And I we break down, we break down everything in here. Man, we go into our energy, we go into the energy and metabolism. We go into how you can use how your daily energy needs, how you can calculate your energy needs, your energy expenditure and calories. See, we go in here so you can create your own. We got we got Park Q so you can examine yourself. You can ask yourself the questions that your doctor would ask you. See, we go into if you don't know how to test your heart so you can exercise according to your heartbeat. Then we got your 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 follow up. This is the handbook to supreme health and fitness. This is your at home guide. You don't need to go to a gym. You don't need to go seek somebody else. So you can do your at home activity. See, you can go ahead and, and do your formulas right here at home, right here with it where you eat unhealthy at. See, we got the workouts right here. We are we need to develop lean muscle mass. That's the most efficient form of tissue that you can create on your body having too much adipose fat tissue is bad having too much muscle is bad because both of those increase the atmospheric pressure they both increase the gravitational pull so when you go to move your arm it's heavier you got more gravity pulling on it you got more atmospheric pressure uh, uh, beating on it, squeezing it. This makes your heart beat faster because it's got to support that. It's, and it makes your breathing harder. It makes you respirate harder because your your body now has to uh, um make up for that extra mass. It has to push back harder. It has to fight gravity harder. This wears out your kidneys and your liver because all of this uh, adrenaline that and cortisol that's being produced from this stressful situation of being overweight and obese is causing a breakdown on your internal organ. That's why when you look at anybody that is over 100, anybody that's in their 80s, anybody that's in their 90s, they are not overly muscular and they are not obese. They have lean muscle mass. That's the efficient. When you want to move, your body produces an electrical current that hits the muscle and causes it to contract. This is movement. The thought that you have is what produces the electrical current, and that's where you move to wherever you're thinking about going. But lean muscle mass is the most efficient. So when you have that spark and your muscle goes to contract, you move faster, quicker, and, and, and more stamina with lean muscle mass versus fat versus too much muscle. So we must understand, ladies, 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 sisters, I know you like looking at the muscular brothers. I know it. I know it. But you have to understand that that is not, that does not define health. It doesn't. Man, brothers, my brothers. I know you love Arnold Schwarzenegger. I know. I know we like Mr. Olympia and all that bull. I, I know the ladies like it. I know. But that does not define health. You must understand that when you see somebody with that muscular type, that usually it is a psychological imbalance. They are trying to overcompensate for something that they went through in their youth. Oh, I was fat. I was ugly. 
I was this, I was teased, I was bullied. So I hit the gym and I became the biggest, strongest person in the block. So now can't nobody bully me. Nobody call me fat. Nobody look at me now. See, that's a mindset. They are overcompensating because once you reach a certain level of muscularity, now you're doing that out of vanity. You, you, you doing, you on something else. See, the same with the obesity. You watch yourself get, you don't magically become obese. You don't wake up 10 pounds of fat, 20 pounds of, no. You see yourself getting fatter and fatter every day. You could be eating the ice cream and be like, man, why I can't stop myself? Why? Oh, man. You look at the pic because we go to exercise wrong. We go into exercise looking or under a program that's not created and developed for your body and your health status. So you go to the gym and you got this maniac. You got this maniac. Got you. Ha, ha, ha. Lip, lip, lip. Woo. And you leave. Oh, in the next three, four days, you all oh, my back, my leg, my knee. Oh, I ain't never working out again. I ain't, man. No, because you didn't exercise according to your body and your health status. So you hurt yourself. And then you mentally shut the door on exercise. And you'd be like, man, I ain't never exercising again. And then you get fatter. You get more obese. You watch it collect because when you went to go exercise, you went at it wrong. That's why I say, man, we don't need no gym. That's not filled up. That's not health. That's not health care. They are on cosmetics. That's to cosmetically change your body to look differently. That's not health care. That's not fixing your adipose fat tissue. That's not improving your heart. That's not improving your respiratory system. So I want us to understand with this brief message that we have material available now, www.shawnalee.com wellnessprogram.com. This is a manual. She that. So we go from atoms to muscles. We start with, we look at our cells atomic, anatomically, and we look at it. See, these are some of the chapters that we got. See, we got, we got big chapters. See, we breaking down everything. See, we, we breaking down from the atom to the muscle. So you can know yourself. So you can know your bones, your tissues, and your muscles. You can understand what they do, your physiology. You can stand, you over you understand the need for cardio and aerobics. You understand we go into flexibility. See, so you can develop, you can build, you can improve and add on to this magnificent vehicle that God black. See, God put it together perfect. Man, he all when we was in the womb, he put this together perfectly. It is through our eating habits and our lack of exercise that we have let it be distorted. So we it's not hard to fix it. That's the it's easy. We just eat to live and we exercise. We move something, move something, and you move yourself. See, so that's it. I mean, family. I'm not trying to, man, uh, um, I, I'm not talking negative against nobody that's on their path. My, this message is specific. They, they say that four out of five black women are obese, man. That's the statistics for the black nation. Three out of five black men are obese. See, we strong. Because that obese black woman, if she hits you, will knock your ass out. We strong. It ain't a lack of strength that we have. We built this. We were the physical labor for everything we see here in America. We never lack strength. See? So going to the gym for strength training 
That makes no sense when you are obese because you cannot convert fat into muscle. You have to burn the fat. And then once you burn the fat and you remove all of the impediments and you got it back to how God created, then you build the muscle. Then you build the muscle. But it takes 3,500 calories. You got to burn 3,500 calories to lose one pound of fat. Look, we got another book. Man, come on. Understanding the human energy. Energy cycles and transformations to achieve abundant life. So you, because everything is energy. Food is energy. The sun is energy. You are energy. So when we understand our energy cycle and transformations, because you can't destroy energy, you can only transfer and transform it. So when we understand the human energy, then we can control, we can transfer that negative into positive and be healthy and heal and be alive and be powerful and never die until you want to. See, so we, <laughs> Supreme Health and Fitness, from atoms to muscle, a manual to abundant life. Man, we got you at home. We got understanding human energy, energy cycles and transformations to achieve abundant life. Then we got your at-home guide, your at-home guide, where you got the exercises you can do at home. And you can create from stretching. We got stretching exercises. We got yoga type exercises, meditations. See, you can do it right here at home. You don't need to go to no gym. See, you don't need to go to no gym. That's right. Black men, we do yoga too. We meditate too. That's ours. They found us doing it and took it over. So don't act like ain't nothing soft this way. <laughs> so, so look. This is just your brother, man. I thank everybody for tuning in. Um, like I say, it's always an honor and a pleasure. Just know that it's the importance is on you to enter an exercise routine that's developed for your body type and that's developed for your health status. If not, the exercise won't be your medicine. It will be a problem because when you exercise, you create a stress. And if you don't do the right exercise, we don't create the good stress. See, when you're doing cardio and aerobics, that puts stress on your heart. That puts the good stress. That puts the good stress on your, on your respiratory system so they can be stronger, so it can clear out. So I just want y'all to understand that, man. Sean Ali, wellnessprogram.com. You can go to amazon.com. My books are available. You got your at-home guide. You got your understanding, our human energy. You got your supreme health and fit. From atoms to muscle, a manual to abundant life. Let's go. So listen, I love you. I thank you. Tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, we have the Health and Wellness Power Hour with Sister Denise Renee Muhammad and myself. Please join us. Um, it's your time to, we're going over solutions for the Black nation. So if you need a solution or if you have a solution, please join us and add on to the brilliant, exciting conversation. I thank you all for tuning in. I'm your brother. I pray that this message was received in the spirit, the brotherly spirit, the godly spirit. And when you go to develop your exercise, do as they say. Go visit your physician. Get an examination of your body. So then now you know what you have to do to improve yourself. Because if you if you don't improve yourself, who will? It won't magically happen. But if you don't know yourself, 
it'll be very hard for you to make the best decisions about yourself. So I just want you to be able to be healthy, to be strong and powerful and to enjoy abundant life. Man, I leave you as I came. The greeting words of peace, the Arabic vernacular. Assalamu alaikum. Hotel. Black power. Power to the people. Peace, family.